Hello everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga. It's me, Jamie. Now you might usually see me at school, but here I am at home as well on a Saturday morning so you can enjoy your family yoga time too. How cool is that? Now today we have a really exciting, wonderful story based on a movie called The Wizard of Oz. Yes, we're going to Kansas to meet Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, a witch. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. And really, there really is no place like home. I hope you love it. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, today we've got an exciting story. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz, which is why I've got Dorothy here. But first, we need to go and meet Dorothy, who lives in Kansas. To get there, we're going to use some special magic. Bring your hands back together again, and we're going to say there's no place like home three times with our eyes closed. Here we go. Close your eyes. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. We open our eyes to find we're here, on the farm, where Dorothy lives with her Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. We see Belinda, the chicken, coming into chicken pose. Up onto your tippy toes and see if you can balance. Oh, trying not to wobble. Bring your hands onto your hips and take your elbows back like you're a clocky chicken, going very good, everyone. And look, coming up to stand, there's Toto, the dog, Dorothy's lovely little pet dog. Let's come into dog pose. Coming down onto your hands and knees, spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and lift your bottoms up to the sky in your dog pose, going woof, 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 woof. We come back down to sit to find Dorothy singing about somewhere over the rainbow. Let's come into rainbow pose. High up on your knees, arms wide. Drop down onto one hand and stretch your leg out to the side. Then reach your arm up and over your ear. Dorothy wishes that she lived somewhere over the rainbow where that nasty lady who lives in the next door village wouldn't be so mean to Toto. Coming into rainbow on the other side. Two knees together arms wide. Drop down onto your hand the other side and stretch your leg out. Then reach your arm up and over your ear as you sing. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Oh my, look up to the sky everyone. It's starting to rain. Pitter patter on your heads and all over the top and the back, down your chest, on your legs and your arms. Oh my goodness, it's a big storm coming. There are claps of thunder coming up to stand. Take your feet a little bit wider and your arms wide and clap your hands above your head. Here we go. Ooh. And again. Ooh. And last time. Ooh. Goodness me, the wind's starting to blow as well. Starting to spin around and around. It's a tornado and it's picking up Dorothy's house while she's inside it with Toto. Dorothy hides on her bed, coming into bed pose. Down onto your bottoms, bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you. Lift your bottom up, coming into bed pose. Look, out the window, there's that mean lady from the village. She's riding a bicycle in the sky. Lying on your backs, crisscross your fingers and put them behind your head. Lift up your legs and pedal your legs like you're riding a bicycle. She's cackling like a witch. <laughs> but she's not riding a bicycle anymore. She's on a broomstick with a black hat. She really is a witch. Coming into broomstick pose, 
lying on your tummies, everyone, as flat as you can go. Then take your arms down by your side and lift your feet and chest up at the same time, going whoosh. Let's do a cackle like a witch. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. The house lands with a bunny hop bump. Coming up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, spread your fingers wide, arms straight. Lift your bottom up and do a little hop. One, two, three, hop, bump. Walk your hands back to your feet and then roll your body up very slowly. Dorothy comes up to stand and she brushes herself down. What just happened? She opens up the door of her house, coming into door pose. Two knees, take your leg to the side and take your arm to the sky. Now open up the door. Oop. She closes the door behind her, coming to two knees again. Take your other leg to the other side, reach your arm up and close the door. Ooh. Now, Dorothy steps outside into a very strange and colourful world. It's certainly not Kansas. And floating towards her is a sparkly bubble. Bring your feet together. Bring your hands around your mouth and blow up your sparkly bubble. Ready? The bubble floats, tilting from side to side towards her. And as it gets really close, it pops in sparkly light, coming down onto your tippy toes. And after three, let's jump with a pop. One, two, three, pop! Oh my goodness me! Standing before her is the most beautiful lady. She looks a bit like a fairy godmother. And she's got wings. Take your hands behind your back into prayer hands or namaste hands like this. Then you can see you've got some lovely little wings. Very good, everyone. She does a lovely curtsy. Stepping to the side, take your other foot behind and bend and bow, coming into your curtsy. She stands up tall and says, I am Glinda, the good witch of the north. And then she curtsies again to the other side. Step your other foot wide, take your foot behind and bend, curtsying low. She stands up tall again and says, Thank you, Dorothy, for you have killed the Wicked Witch of the East. Dorothy stands very still, feeling very confused. But I would never kill anything or anyone, not even a Wicked Witch. But Glinda points to the house. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head coming into house pose. And sure enough, sticking out from underneath the house are two legs. Coming down to lie on your back, with your arms out wide and send your legs up to the sky. These two legs are wearing a pair of beautiful ruby red slippers. Coming up to stand, everyone. Oh no, what have I done, thinks Dorothy. But Glinda swooshes her wand. She steps one foot forward, one foot back and bends her knee. She straightens out her arms and she swooshes her wand away. Swoosh! Then she jumps her feet the other way. Whoop! And she does it the other side too. Swish, swish, swish. Jump your feet together. <gasps> All of a sudden, Dorothy is wearing the ruby red slippers. Linda explains that this is the safest place for them, as the Wicked Witch of the West will want them. She is the alive sister of the dead witch who is under the house and she will want them for their power. <gasps> All of a sudden, there's a puff of green smoke crouching down on your tippy toes, everyone. After three, let's do a big puff. One, two, three, puff. And there, standing before her, is the Wicked Witch of the West, coming into witch pose with your craggy fingers and toes. And yes, she says to Dorothy, give me those slippers. Dorothy stands very still, feeling very afraid. But she can't get the slippers because of the magic that Glinda's put on them. The witch goes again, coming back into witch pose. She says, I'll get you next time, my pretty, and your little dog. <laughs> and she disappears in a puff of green smoke, coming down onto your tippy toes and a big jump with a puff. One, two, three, poof! <gasps> 
Oh, my goodness me. Dorothy stands up. Oh, all she wants to do is go home, back to Kansas. Glinda tells her the only one that can help her is the Wizard of Oz. And to find him, she must follow the yellow brick road through Munchkinland. Dorothy takes a big deep breath in and out. And she begins her journey with Toto along the yellow brick road, skipping. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Along the way, she meets some friends. She meets a scarecrow. Bring your feet together and take your arms out wide. Now see if you can drop your arms from your elbows and make them swing and dangle a little bit. The scarecrow can talk. He says, hello there, all right. Yeah, I'm just a scarecrow, but uh, I really wish I had some brains, you see, instead of all the straw in my head. Dorothy thinks, well, maybe the wizard can help him. So she invites him along on the journey and they skip together. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Along the way, they also meet a tin man who's chopping wood. Turning to the side, take your feet wide and crisscross your fingers behind your back. Stretch your arms out behind you and fold forwards as you say chop. Ready? One, two, three. Chop! And up. And again. One, two, three. Chop! And up. Last time. One, two, three. Chop! And all the way up. The Tin Man wishes that he could feel things. He wishes that he had a heart instead of a tin body. Dorothy thinks maybe the Wizard of Oz can help, so she invites him along on the journey. They skip together. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Then they meet a lion who roars at them loudly like a bully. Coming into lion pose, everyone. Down on your knees. After three, let's do a big lion face with a roar. Ready? One, two, three. Rawr! Dorothy stands up with her hands on her hips and she tells him off for being such a bully. At which point he comes down into a cat pose on his hands and knees and starts crying. <laughs> I'm just a scaredy pussy cat. He sits back on his heels with his little paws up and he says, I just wish I had some real c -c 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 courage. Dorothy thinks that maybe the Wizard of Oz can help. So she invites him along on the journey too. And they all skip together. Up we come everyone and let's skip. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. They finally arrive in Oz at the Wizard of Oz's castle. Coming down onto your knees and take hold of your elbows. The little door opens to reveal a mean face. What do you want? Dorothy tells him about their journey. At first he says, go away. But after she tells him how long they've journeyed, he lets them in so they get to go and see the wizard. Coming up to stand, everyone. Jump your feet wide and your arms wide. The wizard is an enormous head with sparkly fire all around him. Wiggle your fingers, making it like sparkly fire. She tells them what they all wish for and he says he can grant their wishes if they bring him the Wicked Witch of the West's broomstick. Jump your feet together, stand very still. Dorothy takes a big deep breath. She will do it and all of them head to the Wicked Witch of the West's castle. They go through a haunted forest. Coming into tree pose, one foot on top of the other using your heel, bring your hands together at your heart. Grow your haunted tree up nice and tall and spread your spooky branches going. And let's do our spooky trees on the other side. Taking your other foot on top now, your hands together. Grow your spooky tree up and spread those branches. And let me hear your ghosty noises. Ooh, you're very spooky haunted trees. Along the way, the witch is watching them through her crystal ball, sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed. 
bring your elbows down in front of you and look through your crystal ball. Ah, I see where they come. I will send my winged monkeys to catch Dorothy and her little dog, Toto. All of a sudden, the winged monkeys appear. Coming into your winged monkey pose, everyone. Standing up tall, feet together, fold halfway forwards and bring your hands down. Then lift and lower your monkey wings going. They grab Dorothy and Toto and bring them back to the Wicked Witch of the West's castle. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. The witch grabs hold of one of the ruby slippers on Dorothy's feet and she shakes it and she tugs it and she pulls it. Why won't it come off? And then she puts it down and she tries the other one, picking that one up too. I just want this ruby slipper. And then she realises, I'll just have to kill you. At which point, Toto escapes to go and find Dorothy's friends to save her. Coming into dog pose, everyone, on your hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, and lift your bottom up to the sky into dog pose, going ruff, 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 ruff. Coming up to stand, everyone. Toto finds the scarecrow, the tin man, and the lion, and all of them tiptoe on their tippy tippy tiptoes into the Wicked Witch of the West's castle. <gasps> They see some winky guards and they defeat them, stealing their uniforms. They shimmy into them. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Now they can go in unnoticed, marching. Marching, 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 marching. They find Dorothy all tied up. Cross one leg over the other, bend your knees, arms wide, scissor your arms and lift your underneath arm, swizzle them round and sit yourself down like you're all tied up. Help, help. Let's do it on the other side. Unravel yourself and spread the other one over now. Bend your knees, take your arms wide, scissor them with the other way waving with the underneath arm and twizzle them round to sit down. Help! Help! They untie Dorothy. Phew! But just as they do, the Wicked Witch of the West comes in and she says, Not so fast, my pretty. She then puts her hands up and out of her hands come two big balls of fire. She sets fire to the scarecrow. He runs around in a circle. Help! I'm on fire! Help me! Ow! Dorothy calms herself. She walks around, comes to stand, and she takes a big deep breath in through her nose and out through her mouth. She folds halfway forward to pick up a bucket of water. She steps one foot forward, one foot back, bends her knee and then throws the bucket of water all over the scarecrow, putting out the flames. But the water, standing up tall, hits the witch as well, who begins to melt. I'm melting! into a puddle of goo on the floor. The winky guards jump for joy, coming up onto your tippy toes, everyone, and do a big joyful whoop into the sky. One, two, three, woohoo! To say thank you, they give Dorothy the Wicked Witch of the West's broomstick. Coming up to stand back at the castle. The wizard isn't being very fair. He's not going to keep his promises. And while they argue, Toto goes to the curtain, folding halfway forwards where the wizard is standing. He brings his paws together using the backs and he spreads the curtain wide. And there, there isn't a grand wizard at all. There is just a tiny little normal man. Coming down onto your knees, everyone. He wraps his arms around himself and he asks for forgiveness. I'm sorry, I'm just a normal man. He sits back. To say sorry, he does something really nice. He gives the scarecrow a diploma to show him how clever he is. He gives the lion a medal to show how brave and courageous he's been. And he gives the tin man 
a heart-shaped ticking clock. See if you can bring your fingers into a little heart shape. Yay! And he agrees to help Dorothy get home to Kansas using his hot air balloon. Sitting on your bottoms with your legs crossed, he cups his hands around his mouth and he begins to blow it up, breathing in and blow. But all of a sudden, Toto sees something coming into dog pose. On your hands and knees, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes and lift your bottoms to the sky with a little woof, 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 woof. He spots a cat coming into cat pose on all fours and wiggle waggle your pussycat tail. Now we all know what dogs do to cats. They chase them. Standing up on your feet, Dorothy runs after him. Toto, come back, we've got to go. But as she does, bring your feet back together, bring your arms up high, the balloon begins to float up into the sky without them. Oh no, Dorothy's missed her lift home. But Glinda, the good witch of the north, arrives and tells her that all will be fine. All you need to do, Dorothy, is click your heels together three times and think there's no place like home. There's no place like home when you're ready, Dorothy. With tears in her eyes, Dorothy wraps all of her friends up with a big hug. She opens her arms again and she's ready to return home. So, coming up onto your tiptoes, she clicks her heels three times. One, two, three. We lower them down. We close our eyes and we think, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And when we open our eyes, we're back home in Kansas with Toto the dog, Belinda the chicken, Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. Dorothy takes a well-earned lie down in her bed, coming down to lie on our beds, sitting all the way down. Lie down, Toto. Lie down. 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 Good boy. As we lay here, we relax. And we think about what the amazing story was that we just did, going to Oz. And how there really is no place like home. And that often we've got all we need right here, all along. We lie here. And we feel happy to be where we are right now knowing that home is where our heart is. We feel really centered and happy when we're here. But now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes, opening our eyes. We come up to sit. And we cross our legs, bringing our Toto into our little lap as well. And we finish our yoga story just the way we started, with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? Hands together. After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for doing the Wizard of Oz story with me. You were amazing. And thank you, Toto, for coming along too. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. That was awesome. Well done, you. Now we have a very special Zen Den, which is called Minnie the Puppy. And it has my little dog, Minnie, in it. It's all about how we focus our attention and how we train our little dogs to focus their attention. It's lovely, and I hope you enjoy it.
everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel all calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. Now this is Minnie. She's a little dog who is lovely and relaxed here in my arms. She's been looking forward to her Zen Den and she hopes that it will help you. So let's get comfy and ready for your Zen Den time. Sit with your legs crossed, your hands resting on your knees, your back nice and straight. And let's enjoy a big deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. <sighs> Lovely. Now, Minnie, we need to get the Zen Den ready, don't we? So first, let's have some sounds. Oh, look at all of these, Minnie. They're nice, aren't they? Let's pick a couple to make it feel all calm and cosy in here. Look, a warm, crackling fire. And, ooh, a ukulele tune. Now for the smell. Oh, great. Look at these. These are some of Minnie's favourites. Look, Minnie. Salmon. Roast chicken. Oh, look. This one's your favourite. It's the bacon smell. Let's go for that. Wow, that smell makes me feel really hungry. Now, back to Minnie and why she's here with us today. When Minnie was younger, she was a puppy. She was always busy running around, jumping on everything, exploring and playing, and chasing our bigger dog Spence around the house. While Minnie was a puppy, we helped her learn how to use her attention so she can watch, listen, come to us when we call, sit, lie down, walk alongside us and do all sorts of clever tricks like giving you her paw. It was important to help Minnie learn these things when she was a puppy because when we're young, our minds are really good at learning things. And by training her attention, Minnie has been able to learn lots of new things. Maybe you know a dog who can do some great tricks too. When we train our attention, we too can become very good learners. So we do well at school and we can learn to do all sorts of cool things. But how do we do it? It sounds easy, but attention can be there one second and gone the next. Sometimes our attention flits around like a busy butterfly. Have you noticed your attention doing that? Doing the exercises here in the Zen Den and the Cosmic Kids Yoga Adventures will certainly help train your attention so it gets stronger and you can use it for longer. But, like a puppy, like Minnie used to be, oh dear, it takes training and practice. So as well as doing Cosmic Kids videos, here are a few other fun ideas you can do to train your attention. Colour in a picture and keep colouring until you finish the whole thing. Make a Lego model from start to finish. Listen to some music and lift your thumb each time you hear a new instrument. Learn a song by listening to it and remembering the words bit by bit. Read a storybook or picture storybook and afterwards see how much of it you can remember without looking back at the book. Draw something in your house a fruit bowl, a plant, or a vase of flowers. Now for the hard one. Sit, close your eyes, and breathe in and out slowly, ten times. This one is the hardest. 
It's the doing it slowly part that really tests you. Doing it fast is easy. When you do these things, see if you can notice when your attention wanders. And then bring it back to the thing you are doing again. When you do this, you are training your attention. In a couple of them, you'll be training your memory as well. So you get a gold star for those. <laughs> you'll know when your attention is wandering. You'll think things like, Oh, I wonder what's for dinner. I'm bored. Or maybe I can tell my friends about Minnie, the puppy. Oh, what's that over there? Funny little thoughts. That's just your mind doing its thing. But when you bring your attention back, you eventually make your mind stronger. Thank you, Minnie, for helping understand about our attention. It really helps us. And keep up the practice to become a true Zen Den master. Bye-bye. That was great. Well done, you. Now, let's get the volume turned up, get ready to sing, to dance, and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, dancing, and lots of fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Washing Machine Asonga, where we do our washing machine move and our tumble dryer move. First you get into the groove, with the washing machine a move. Then you build up the fire, as you blow your tumble dryer. Sit down and cross your legs, and put your hands behind your head. Then twist from side to side. Let the rhythm be your guide. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Let's take it to our fingers. Make like a tumble dryer. Then you blow and blow and blow and see your fingers start to roll. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. A roll a blow. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a mamba. Wish a wash a samba. Wish a wash a rumba. Washing machine a song. Rolling with the limbo. Rolling to the beat of the bongo. Rolling with the mambo. Washing machine a song. Making my tummy stronger. Washing machine a song. Rumbly tumble dryer, let's take the music high. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Blow a roll a blow a roll a blow a roll a blow. Everybody loves to dance and spin themselves around, twisting side to side. We love the salsa sound. Washing machine a song a, washing machine a song a. Rumbly tumble dryer, now we all fun over. You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Lion pose. Coming down to kneel with your hands on your lap. Now lion pose is brilliant for getting all of your stress out. You stick out your tongue and make your eyes as big as can be. Now we're going to clap our hands on our laps three times together and then come up to do our roar. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Roar! Whoop. 
Oops. Sorry. False alarm. Lion pose. Yoga Pose Universe! Oh. Oh. Dog Pose. Coming down onto our hands and our knees. We spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! <gasps> now look! There's a friend! Hello! Oh, that's nice. Now, dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now, dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dog pose. Well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out Balloon Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to get comfy. Find a space and either lie down on your back, side or tummy, or sit cross-legged or on a chair. Take a moment now to decide which works best for you. Now you've found your spot, have a wriggle and a fidget so your body feels happy. And when you're done, say goodbye to those fidgets and hello to that lovely, warm, calm feeling you get when you're relaxed and your body comes to stillness. Rest and breathe gently. You can keep your eyes open for now if you like. See if you can feel your breathing. You might need to slow it down a little so you can feel what it's doing to your tummy. Making it lift as you breathe in and lower as you breathe out. Next time as you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. Now you can enjoy the adventure. With your eyes closed, your mind can make the pictures for you. You are outside, in a garden. And up in the sky, you spot a red balloon floating. You can see it has a little string dangling down. It's floating down towards you. You wonder where this balloon has come from. And why is it here for you? Now it is right in front of you. Like it's waiting for you to take it. You reach your hand forward and take hold of the string. Now you feel the balloon start to rise again up into the sky. 
you don't let go. And you feel it pulling you up too. It lifts you right up onto your tiptoes. And then your feet leave the ground. And you are floating too. Just like the balloon. Where are we going, you wonder? You relax and let yourself be carried. Enjoying the cool air on your skin. You see green fields down below. And the trees. You are above the treetops, looking down on them. Look, just up ahead, you see your favourite place in the whole world. You decide what this place is. See if you can imagine it now. What does it look like? The balloon takes you right to it. And you are lowered gently. So you and the balloon are there now. Look around at this place. What can you see? Can you hear any sounds? Are there any people here? Or animals? Or is this a place you enjoy all by yourself? Does it have a particular smell? Or taste, maybe? As you stand here with your red balloon, you soak up the goodness and joy from being here in your favourite place. How much you love it. Breathe into it. As you do, you feel completely happy. And with that happiness, you are ready to return with your balloon. It's time to come back. See if you can notice any sounds around you now. Notice your body where it touches the ground or the chair beneath you. Enjoy a big stretch and breathe in and out. Gently open your eyes and take a second to just notice how you feel after that. Different maybe to how you felt before you had your peace out. It's been a real treat feeling all that happiness from visiting your favourite place. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jamie, saying peace out. <laughs>